Greetings, little warriors. I'm Steve, and if you watched our recent Isan Luana episode, you know that I had to paint over 2,000 Zulu figures like those behind me for that episode. Well, today, with the help of our friends at Bacchus 6mm, who produced every single one of the figures you saw in that video, I'm going to show you just how I did that. And hopefully, that'll show you just how easily and efficiently you can get large 6mm armies on the table. Now, this was not the first time that I've painted up a 6mm army. If you've seen our Kawanakajima episode from last season, I painted each of the 6mm armies used in that battle as well. I've also painted up a large Macedonian force. For each army, the basic painting concept was the same. Pick out the parts of each figure that are important to paint to really make the figure look like what it's supposed to. And remember, sometimes less is more. You'll want to do your painting in batches, and I generally painted them in batches of 48, with each of the 48 figures broken up into eight separate mini popsicle sticks of six figures each. The first thing I do with the figures is prime them with black brush on gesso. Then I completely paint each figure the base skin tone that I've chosen. From here on out, the secret is mostly lines and dots. Remember that players won't be looking at the figures close up, so you just need details to pop from a distance. Dots and lines will do just that. The leg tassels are just white dots on the front and back of the legs. The loincloths are largely just tan dots on the front and back of the, uh, of the loins. For hair, I would just dab on a bit of black paint on the top of each head. And the backs of the shields are just dabs of light brown. Moving on to the spears, a line of that same light brown works to set off the shafts. And then I put on some metallic silver for the spearheads. At the end of the day, the most important thing on these Zulu figures is the shield, however. Different shield designs were often used to indicate different regiments, and you can do the same thing on your table. Today, though, I'm just going to do basic black for the front of these shields. Once the shields are dry, I then dab some white paint on the puffs at the top of the shield sticks, and then add eight small white dots on the front of the shield to represent the stitching. Lastly, I paint the lead around the figure's feet, whatever I've chosen as my ground color. After a final brown acrylic color wash, we have six completed 6mm Zulu Warriors. Pretty easy, really. Now let's look at how I base them. I put six warriors on each 25mm by 25mm square. And for those squares, I generally use either Plasticard or squares that I print up myself on a 3D printer. I then smear a thin layer of drywall joint compound on the square and press the six figures into the compound in random arrangements. Once the compound dries, it'll keep the figures in place until you put glue on in a later step. With the compound dry, I then paint it the same ground color that I used to paint around the figure's feet. Now it's time for that glue I mentioned. It's really a 50-50 mix of white glue and water, and I coat the entire base with it, careful to avoid the figures themselves. Then, with the glue still wet, I cover it with multicolored fine paver sand. When that first layer of glued sand dries, I put another layer of the glue water mix on top. This fixes the sand in place, also darkens it a bit, and make sure that your figures aren't going anywhere. Finally, in various points on each base, I dab on some of the glue water mix and add tufts of static grass. And that's it. That's how I painted over 2,000 Zulus and is basically the same method I've used on all of my 6mm armies. Hopefully this tutorial demonstrated just how easy it can be to get great looking massive 6mm armies painted and on the table in a relatively short amount of time with relatively little effort. If you're ready to try these methods for yourself, be sure to visit Baca 6mm as they produce a wide range of excellent 6mm figures and their service is second to none. Thanks again and we'll see you next time here on Little Wars TV.